guys. Welcome to my makeshift setup. I'm actually moving tomorrow, so I have to break this down today. And I figured I should just do a little tour. I'm excited because my next video will be assembling my huge L sit stand desk. Can't wait to show that off. And of course, just getting my new setup and room and office and everything configured. But for now, we're going to go with this because this is all I really have to film. And as you can see, here's Cooper. He's passed out. This has been a recent thing he likes, so uh, hopefully we can uncover the Go XLR and all that. But for now, he's enjoying himself, so we'll let him be. Before we get into this video, I do want to give a shout out to today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Kershaw Knives, and I've actually teamed up with them to give away three knives to you guys. Like a lot of people, I use my knives for opening packages and product boxes. And when it comes to Kershaw Knives, they're all about next level designs, next level dependability, and most importantly, next level customer service. Every Kershaw is backed by a limited time warranty, so if you're stupid like me and break the pocket clip, just send them an email and they'll replace it for free. I also love that most of their models are manufactured here in the USA. Hell yeah, brother. My three different knives here are each badass in their own unique way, but hands down, my favorite has to be the Launch 10. The design, the shape, the color, ah, it's absolutely awesome. If you want to enter our giveaway to win one of three knives, leave a comment below telling me what you'd use your knife for. You also have to be subscribed to this channel and follow me on Twitter at Matt Philly and Instagram at Busy. I'll pick a winner a week after posting this video thanks again to kershaw knives for sponsoring this video okay so with that covered let's just kind of get into it there's nothing too much going on here but i figured i should show it off anyway first and foremost here's my pc same one that i always use uh you know 1080 ti uh 64 gigs of ram uh thread ripper and uh yeah i mean it's it's awesome i like it i definitely would love to upgrade soon and uh so that's something on my list but i'm not gonna get too much into it um, because I've shown this off in many videos. Now, as far as the monitors, this is a 32 inch 4K from BenQ. I believe it's the PDU, uh, actually it's right here, PD series 3200U or something like that. Absolutely amazing display. I love it, the colors are just so good on it. And uh, when you compare it to any other display, this one always wins. And so I need it just to make sure I'm you know, accurately doing colors when doing graphic design and stuff like that. As far as this ultra wide, it's good. It gets the job done. It's not my absolute favorite in the world, but it's really not a bad display either. I can't remember the name right now, so I will link it down below, um, but I'm figuring out if I want to actually use this in my new setup or do something a little different. Okay, so as far as this little display, uh, it's somewhat of a recent addition. It's a no-name brand. I, I will link it down below. I think it's about $100, and I would say at that price, it's not worth it. Um, only because there are better alternatives out there. It's also not the best display. The resolution's a bit odd, um, really thick. The stand isn't great. It, it's just, it's got its little quirks, but uh, if you're looking for something small, I think it's about seven inches or something like that. Uh, it, it's cool, it's nice to have, but uh, I actually just got a recent product in, which is a 15.6 inch external display and it's uh, type C. And I think it's only a little bit more in terms of price. So definitely not the best option out there, but still something interesting nonetheless. Next up, we have the Stream Deck. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry, this is all like super dusty and really kind of gross. But you know what? Um, I'm moving, so it's all good, boy. Also, I don't know if anyone remembers Blippi. This was like a social network where you could share purchases that you make. So like, I think it was mainly with iTunes if you bought a song or an app or something, it would show up in a feed and uh, they gave away nail clippers like literally forever ago and uh, I still have them for some reason. So yeah, thanks Blippi. Next up is my keyboard, which is very messy. Um, I take the caps off, I Q-tip, I do all this stuff and you know what? It just gets more than anything is dust and it's so frustrating and that's actually why I'm moving away from black furniture, black everything because it's just it honestly is so hard to maintain because even if you do clean it, it just looks gross after a while. And this mouse pad, I've literally washed like probably 30 times and all it does is fade and makes it look like disgustingness, but I promise it's it's not like, you know, anything that I just have neglected. But yeah, this is the K70 Rapid Fire. I love this keyboard so much. I had the K70 before this and then I got the Rapid Fire and I mean, it's just seriously the best keyboard. I, I love it. I've tried other keyboards. 
I keep coming back to this. And then my mouse is the G903 from Logitech. I absolutely love this mouse too. Um, you know, this was my first wireless gaming mouse. Uh, I was coming from Corsair Wired Mice, and this honestly is just so good. I love it so much. So, yeah. This is my cat Cooper, and he's currently covering my Go XLR. It's fine. Don't don't move. It's totally cool. If you're not familiar with the Go XLR, it's pretty awesome. You can plug your mic into it. Uh, oh, yeah, now you're going to move. Oh, no. Okay. Sure. Just, no, you're going to just lay right there. Right on top. Okay. Yep, that's fine. But the Go XLR is awesome because you can plug your microphone into it, do all sorts of different uh, voice effects. There's pre-recorded sound, sensor beep, stuff like that. But you could also pipe in different sources and control it with motorized sliders. I really, really like this. It's been huge for me, and it has built-in compression and gain and all these different things. So it's definitely something I recommend. It's a little pricey, but if it's something that you're going to be using often, you'll definitely get your money's worth. Speaking of audio, still have my Yellow Tech Mika Mica mic arm. I absolutely love this. Uh, it's just so awesome. It's flexible. I've had absolutely no issues with it, so highly recommend it. And on there, I do have my Shure SM7B still. Uh, this microphone, you just can't go wrong with it. It's seriously so awesome. And with the Go XLR, it's like a match made in heaven. Then up here, we do have at different levels, which I know someone out there is like, Oh my God, you're not supposed to do that, brother. But I have the Yamaha HS8, and I also really like these. Um, I've just now really been able to start using them in this place because before I couldn't set them up. But uh, hey, these sound so good. And if you really get the chance to like boost them up, goddamn. But I still want a subwoofer, something I don't have right now, but maybe I'll have in the future. Now, as far as the actual desk goes, this is the IKEA Bacant uh, with a little bit of a swoop out here to the side. Um, man, I cannot recommend this desk enough. I, I mean, say what you want about IKEA this, IKEA that. This is not like the Linmon. This is a quality desk at an affordable price. And uh, if you get it with the little swoopity swoop off to a side, I'm telling you the uh, extra desk space doesn't take up too much, but it also gives you so much more freedom. And man, I really, really recommend this desk. Although I am going to be switching to something much bigger and that's also a sit-stand desk, I think that this is something that most people should really look into instead of doing a Linmon combo. My PC is sitting on a little thing from Walmart. It's like, I think 15, 20 bucks, but probably less than that. Um, and actually, hey, it works for what I'm using it for, but uh, not using it in the new place. Now, I hate that it looks so dusty, and I actually just bought an electronic duster, which by the way, if you don't have one, you, you totally gotta get it. Like, they're crazy awesome and really powerful. Um, but yeah, it looks dusty, and that's why I really am just kind of over black furniture. People often ask me about my footrest, and man, I mean, it's under different names. So I don't remember the company or any of that, but I will link it down below. Guys, this has been my favorite. On the other side, there's like little massage bowl things you could rub your feet on. I don't really like that. It kind of makes me want to throw up, but um, this is just so nice. I love having a footrest that rocks back and forth, and uh, it's got a little bit of like the grip on it, so your feet don't just slide off of it. It's really high quality. It's really nice. I love it. Now, since we're already down here, yeah, the, the wires were not, have not, and will never be an issue in this room because I just didn't care. This was not, uh, you know, my dream setup. Looking at this, I'm not like, oh my God, this looks so freaking good. So I just always kind of left it because, um, you know, I don't, I don't give a shit. Now, this space right here, the reason why this monitor is so much higher than this one is because that's where this camera that I'm holding right now would normally sit on this tripod. So I have the Sony a7 III, I love it, and I just pipe that into my computer with a 4K capture card. Uh, I have a few, but this one I'm currently using is the AV.io. No complaints, it, it works, it's, it does its job. Uh, and yeah, I think it's awesome to have a uh, mirrorless camera set up as a webcam. I use it for work and all sorts of different things. But uh, yeah, I just have one of those battery adapters, the AC adapter that plugs into the camera. And then that way I don't have to replace the battery or anything like that. And then um, I just, like I said, bring it in through the AV.io into my computer. Bada bing, bada boom. But yeah, I mean, that's basically it. You know, I have some different things here that are going to be coming with me. But for the most part, I'm buying new furniture, nicer everything. I want this to, to last a long time. So when I move to my own place, I can just bring that with me and it'll fit. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to get out of here. I can't wait to have my new place configured. 
And that's it. Oh yeah, also, uh, before I go, how to get sponsored by Matt Philly. Yeah, I, uh, I wrote a book. It's out now on Amazon, also available on uh, all the different ebook places. So Apple Books, Barnes & Noble, uh, you name it, it's there. This is my book. Learn how to do it the right way, how to get sponsored, brand deals, free products, and more by Matt Philly. Check it out. <laughs>